Take a look at this Dodge just in it, unique, especially in classics. 1964 Dodge Polara 500. As you can see, two door hardtop. Kind of got a drag car setup or look to it. This particular car, the color you see, beige would have been the original color that this would have came in. It is a color code XX. As far as the, the interior, um, tan interior. So this car is still set up as far to look stock, the way it would have came from Dodge back in 1964. The interior trim was P4T, by the way. And you can check out the data tag in the pictures and you'll see what I'm talking about. And I'll get to where you can check out the pictures here in a little bit. Uh, kind of going through a cheat sheet from the previous owner on this car, who knows it quite well. I'm going to tell you what's underneath the hood and I'll kind of run down his cheat sheet. I'll also take pictures of uh, the list of what I have as far as the build on this car. Underneath the hood, 500 cubic inch B block stroker, 440 source stroker crank. Has Pro Comp, Pro Comp ported aluminum heads. 325 cc intake runners uh, what else we want to put in there on here tell you about uh, hardland sharp roller tip 1.5 ratio rockers does have a comp roller cam and for the details and specs on this again you'll be able to check out the pictures and i'll have this listing in there torque 2 intake tti alumina tti aluminized headers stainless steel x-pipe exhaust does have an MSD 6AL ignition system to it. It's electronic ignition. Holly Sniper fuel injection. Milladon deep sump oil pan. High flow oil pump, high flow water pump. Mancini aluminum radiator. Remote mounted oil filter. 9 to 1 compression. It's designed to run a 91 octane pump gas. So there's a quick rundown of what's underneath the hood. Now, if you want to check out the still pictures, check out kind of the list and the, the build on this. It'll be in there. You can check out the still pictures underneath the hood, the interior underside. Those are at uniqueclassiccars.com. Phone number to reach us at, 507-386-1726. Down below this video, there's a link. Click on that. That's going to take you right to us and right to our website, uniqueclassiccars.com. Now, a little bit about the car itself, as far as the exterior, you can see that the bright work is in nice shape. We'd call this a very nice driver, quality paint and bright work on it. Um, this thing can go to any of your local cruise-ins, any of your local shows. And uh, turn some heads, look good. Underneath this hood scoop, by the way, it is vented. You'll be able to see that on the engine picks. So it will take in cool air to help cool that engine underneath the hood. Up and down this car, very straight panels. Where you look from front to back, back to front, you can see it's a straight car. You may find a few little chips here and there, been touched up, but overall, very nice condition, very straight car. Take a look up and down at riding on classic Krager SS wheels. Real good look for that era. Kind of gives you an idea up and down the side of it. Pretty stock looking interior yet. With the addition of a vintage AC unit to it, we'll check out that when we pop the hood and we fire this thing up. And like I also said a little earlier, this is a fuel injected unit, the Holly Sniper Fuel Injection. Now, we do consider trades, financing is available. And of course, we can assist you with getting this car shipped to where you're located at. All right, transmission. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Uh, Hemi clutches and drums, bolt and sprig. It also has post 65 front pump, so modern torque converters can be used. Custom torque converter on this one designed and built by B&R Transmission out of Oklahoma City. Coming around here to the rear end, eight and three quarter Chrysler 489 case, sure grip, narrowed four inches, super stock Eaton Springs, rebuilt brakes. A little bit of what's going on. In the rear, some miscellaneous he wanted me to mention, let the, uh, the next owner know about. Subframe connectors, front brakes have been converted to disc, vintage AC, like I mentioned a bit ago. Car has been repainted. 
Uh, the interior is original, uh, judging by looking at that. I thought that was pretty much an original interior. There is a few small rips in the, uh, or some rips in the driver's seat. The rest look pretty good. I'll kind of hit that when we get to the inside. Battery has been relocated to the truck trunk, and you can check that out in the still pictures also. All the trim is in good shape. All right, once again, check out those still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com, and you can check out that trunk, battery location. There's a dead man switch back there. Check out the interior. Down below this video, there's a link. Click on it. It's going to take you right to our website. Our phone number, 507-386-1726. All right, let's check out this interior now. Like I said, I thought this looked like it was stock, and the previous owner is stating it is. So, rear of it, very nice shape, yep. Yeah. Player 500 badging in the back seat, pretty cool. Come around to the front. Passenger seat and everything looks good. Center counter looks good. Now, here's where I did notice was a rip there, a little bit here. Other than that, considering this is a stock 64 interior, very nice shape. A little bit of fading up on the top of the door panels. All right, let's check out this interior. Here's the programmer for the EFI ignition. Holly Sniper. So when you start one with the EFI, obviously on the old ones, let's turn the key. Water or fuel pumps running gonna click off when it comes up to pressure. Now let's go ahead and start it. All right, obviously over here it's gonna give you some air fuel ratios, a bunch of other stuff is gonna tell you how it's running, RPM, timing, all of that. Other than that, see the ga gauges of the dash, pretty much stock. We have some aftermarket vents for that vintage air, vintage air controller here. Oil pressure, water temp, aftermarket gauges, tachometer, the center console does work. Automatic shifter on the floor. There you have it. Let's, uh, I'm going to pause this a second, pop that hood, but first I want to let you check out the headliner. Good shape. Dome light in the rear, rear is even working. All right, I'm gonna pause this a second. Now, first of all, too, take a look at how nice that door closes and fits. I'm gonna pause this a second so I can uh, get this hood open for you. A little heavier hood to do one-handed. First off to the back, listen to the rumble out of that. Old car V8 sound. Sounds tough, this will definitely turn some head to come rolling in. All right, we we'll pause this, we'll get that hood open so you check it out. All right, hood open. First of all, there's where those vents are in the hood, so those scoops will allow some fresh air while cooling underneath the hood. And again, remember, 500 cubic inch B-block stroker, 440 source crank. Aluminum radiator. And again, I'll take a picture of this so you can look down the list of everything that I ran through earlier. It'll be in the pictures. Check out what's been done to this. Uh, car will get up and go, put it that way. Nice running car, and some nice equipment, nice amenities on it, done upright. So there you have it, 1964 Dodge Polara 500. Original color, has had a repaint, original interior. Kind of going for that drag car look. Nice looking Dodge, give us a call, 507-386-1726 unique classic cars.com is where you can see the still pictures down below this video click on the link it's going to take you right there we do consider trades financing is available and of course we can assist you with getting this car to where you're located at look forward to finding a new owner on this one it's going to make somebody proud give us a call